going to look at the muscles of the arm, okay? First of all, you need to figure out whether it's your right or left arm by placing the model against your arm. So now this is my left arm. I can match my arm with the model, okay? So the easiest one is the muscle in the corner of your shoulder. That's your triangular muscle, the deltoid, okay? And then if you go further below the deltoid, uh, more on the lateral side of your arm, you have the two bellies of your biceps. It's in the brachial region, so we call it biceps brachii. Then if you go around this way, next you will hit the muscle which is brachialis, and then you will come to the triceps brachii. You see two bellies, but they actually uh, it has three bellies. In the model, you can see two of them superficially. So you have uh, three sets of muscles making a sandwich, like a hot dog, hot dog on the bun. Okay. So this is your biceps brachii. In the middle, you have brachialis, and you have the triceps brachii. Okay. And then, if you go down below the brachialis, at this point, you'll hit the next muscle. The corner of your elbow it starts from the brachial region and it goes towards your radius. So what can we call this muscle? Think. Starts from your brachial region, goes to the radius. So brachioradialis, exactly, correct. Okay. Then for the other muscles on the anterior and posterior uh, side of your arm, we are going to use some landmarks. So always landmark is very important. So the first landmark in this view, you see is the muscle in the middle. So if you see, this muscle goes down into your palm. You see all the tendon sheets going into the palm. This muscle is called your palmaris. They call it palmaris longus, okay? So if you know this muscle as your landmark or reference point, the muscles on the left and the right of this muscle they are going to your wrist, okay? They are going to help you flex your wrist. So they flex your wrist from both sides, the radial side and ulnar side. What bone do we have this side? Radius and this side, ulna. So because it's going to flex your carpal region, the wrist, right, carpal region, and based on the location, we are going to call these two bellies of muscle uh, one is longer, one is shorter. We call that flexor carpi radialis. The other two on this side of the palmaris we call flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay? And then if you turn over to the posterior view, you can see again a landmark. So you can see all these tendon sheets connecting to this muscle in the middle. So when I use this muscle, you can use your muscle and see what it does. It extends your digits, okay? <clears throat> we call this extensor digitorum, okay? And then if you look at either side of the extensor digitorum, you have muscles that help to extend your carpal region, okay? Extending digits, we have extensor digitorum. Extending the carpal region, we have extensor carpi radialis on this side, extensor carpi ulnaris on this side. You'll see more than one belly, so you can use the key, and when you look closely, you can see the long and short head of those muscles, okay? So use always the landmark on both the front and the back. Then if you come to the corner of this elbow, you see a short muscle. This muscle is going to turn your arm like this. So when you do this, what do you call that action? Pronation. So this muscle is going to be your pronator muscle. Okay. So now that you know the major muscles of your arm, you can go through the table and relate the information and try to understand the action, insertion, and origin.